Japanese aircraft carrier Soryu. Soryu Kang Long. Soryu, meaning blue or green dragon, was an aircraft carrier built for the Imperial Japanese Navy IJN during the mid minus 1930s. A sister ship, Huryu, was intended to follow Soryu, but Huryu's design was heavily modified, and she is often considered to be a separate class. Soryu's aircraft were employed in operations during the Second Sino-Japanese War in the late 1930s and supported the Japanese invasion of French Indochina in mid 1940. During the first months of the Pacific War, she took part in the attack on Pearl Harbor, the Battle of Wake Island, and supported the conquest of the Dutch East Indies. In February 1942, her aircraft bombed Darwin, Australia and she continued on to assist in the Dutch East Indies campaign. In April, Soryu's aircraft helped sink two British heavy cruisers and several merchant ships during the Indian Ocean raid. After a brief refit, Soryu and three other carriers of the 1st Air Fleet Kido Butai participated in the Battle of Midway in June 1942. After bombarding American forces on Midway Atoll, the carriers were attacked by aircraft from the island and the carriers Enterprise, Hornet, and Yorktown. Dive bombers from Yorktown crippled Soryu and set her afire. Japanese destroyers rescued the survivors but the ship could not be salvaged and was ordered to be scuttled so as to allow her attendant destroyers to be released for further operations. She sank with the loss of 711 officers and enlisted men of the 1103 aboard. The loss of Soryu and three other IJN carriers at Midway was a crucial strategic defeat for Japan and contributed significantly to the Allies' ultimate victory in the Pacific. Design and Description Soryu was one of two large carriers approved for construction under the Imperial Japanese Navy's 1931-32 supplementary program, the other being her near sister Huryu. In contrast to some earlier Japanese carriers, such as Akabi and Kaga, which were conversions of battle cruiser and battleship hulls respectively, Soryu was designed from the keel up as an aircraft carrier and incorporated lessons learned from the light carrier, Mujo. The ship had a length of 227.5 meters, 746 ft5 in overall, a beam of 21.3 meters, 69 FD-11 in and a draft of 7.6 meters 24 FD-11 in. She displaced 16,200 tons, 15,900 long tons at standard load and 19,100 tons, 18,800 long tons at normal load. Her crew consisted of 1,100 officers and ratings. Machinery Soria was fitted with four geared steam turbine sets with a total of 152,000 shaft, horsepower 113,000 kW, each driving one propeller shaft, using steam provided by eight Campon water tube boilers. The turbines and boilers were the same as those used in the Megami-class cruisers. The ship's power and slim, cruiser-type hull, with a length-to-beam ratio of 10, 1, gave her a speed of 34, 0.5 knots, 63.9 km slash h, 39.7 mph, and made her the fastest carrier in the world at the time of her commissioning. Soryu carried 3,710 tons, 3,650 long tons of fuel oil, which gave her a range of 7,750 nautical miles, 14,350 km, 8,920 mi at 18 knots, 33 km slash h21 mph. The boiler uptakes were trunked together to the ship's starboard side amidships and exhausted just below flight deck level through two funnels curved downwards. Flight deck and hangars. The carrier's 216.9 meter 711 ft7 in flight deck was 26 meters 85 ft4 in wide and overhung her superstructure at both ends, supported by pairs of pillars. Soryu's island was built on a starboard side extension that protruded beyond the side of the hull so that it did not encroach on the width of the flight deck. Nine transverse arrestor wires were installed on the flight deck 
and could stop a 6,000 kg 13,000 LB aircraft. The flight deck was only 12.8 meters 42 ft above the waterline and the ship's designers kept this distance low by reducing the height of the hangars. The upper hangar was 171.3 by 18.3 meters 562 by 60 ft and had an approximate height of 4.6 meters 15 ft one in the lower was 142.3 by 18.3 meters 467 by 60 ft and had an approximate height of 4.3 meters 14 together they had an approximate total area of 5736 square meters 61742 sqft this caused problems in handling aircraft because the wings of a nakajima b5 in Cape torpedo bomber could neither be spread nor folded in the upper hangar. Aircraft were transported between the hangars and the flight deck by three elevators, the forward one abreast the island on the center line and the other two offset to starboard. The forward platform measured 16 by 11.5 meters 52 FT6 in X37 FT9 in. The middle one 11.5 by 12 meters 37 FT9 in X39 FT4 in, and the rear 11.8 by 10 meters 38 FT9 in X32 FT10 in. They were capable of transferring aircraft weighing up to 5,000 kilograms 11,000 LB. Soryu had an aviation gasoline capacity of 570,000 liters, 130,000 imp gal. 150,000 U.S. gal for her planned aircraft capacity of 63 plus 9 spares. Armament Soryuz's primary anti-aircraft A armament consisted of six twin gun mounts equipped with 50 caliber 12.7 cm Type 89 dual purpose guns mounted on projecting sponsons, three on either side of the carrier's hull. The guns had a range of 14,700 meters, 16,100 YD, and a ceiling of 9,440 meters, 30,970 FT, at an elevation of plus 90 degrees. Their maximum rate of fire was 14 rounds a minute, but their sustained rate of fire was around 8 rounds per minute. The ship was equipped with two Type 94 fire control directors to control the 12.7 cm 5.0 in guns, one for each side of the ship, although the starboard director on the island could control all of the Type 89 guns. The ship's light AA armament consisted of 14 twin gun mounts for license-built Hotchkiss 25mm1 in Type 96A guns. Three of these were sighted on a platform just below the forward end of the flight deck. The gun was the standard Japanese light AA weapon during World War Roman II, but it suffered from severe design shortcomings that rendered it largely ineffective. According to historian Mark Still, the weapon had many faults including an inability to handle high-speed targets because it could not be trained or elevated fast enough by either hand or power. Its sights were inadequate for high-speed targets. It possessed excessive vibration and muzzle blast. These guns had an effective range of 1,503,000 1, meters, 1,603,300 1, YD, and a ceiling of 5,500 5, meters, 18,000 FT, at an elevation of plus 85 degrees. The effective rate of fire was only between 110 Type 96 guns were controlled by five Type 95 directors, two on each side and one in the boat. Armor To save weight, Soryu was minimally armored. Her waterline belt of 41 mm 1.6 in of Ducal steel only protected the machinery spaces and the magazines. Comparable figures for Huryu were 90 mm 3.5 in over the machinery spaces and the aviation gasoline storage tanks increasing to 150 mm 5.9 in over the magazine. Soryu's waterline belt was backed by an internal anti-splinter bulkhead. The ship's deck was only 25 mm thick over the machinery spaces and 55 mm 2.2 in thick over the magazines and aviation gasoline storage tanks. Construction and Service Following the Japanese ship naming conventions for aircraft carriers, 
Soria was named Blue or Green Dragon. The ship was laid down at the Cure Naval Arsenal on 20 November 1934, launched on 23 December 1935, and commissioned on 29 December 1937. She was assigned to the 2nd Carrier Division after commissioning. Her air group was initially intended to consist of 18 Mitsubishi Afivim Claude monoplane fighters, 27 H.I. Dunn Etwo Suzy Type 96 dive bombers, and 12 Yakusuka B-4 YG Type 96 torpedo bombers, but the Afiv MS were in short supply and Nakajima Afir Nun by planes were issued instead. On 25 April 1938, Nine Fur Ennis, eighteen Dun Atwos, and nine B four Ys transferred to Nanking to support forces advancing up the Yangtze River. The air group advanced with the successful Japanese offensive, despite the defense by the Chinese Air Force and the Soviet Volunteer Group. It was transferred to Wuhu in early June and then to Anking. Little is known of its operations there, but its primary role during this time was air defense. One fighter pilot of the group was killed after he shot down a Chinese aircraft, leaving a few fighters and their pilots behind to serve as the nucleus of a new fighter unit. The air group returned to Soryu on 10 July. The ship supported operations over Canton in September, but her aircraft saw no aerial combat. She returned home in December and spent most of the next year and a half training. In September-October 1940, the ship was based at Hainan Island to support the Japanese invasion of French Indochina. In February 1941, Soryu moved to Taiwan to reinforce the blockade of southern China. Two months later, the 2nd Carrier Division was assigned to the 1st Air Fleet, or Kido Butai, on 10 April. Soryu's air group was detached in mid-July and transferred to Hainan Island to support the occupation of southern Indochina. Soria returned to Japan on 7 August and became flagship of the 2nd Division. She was relieved of that role on 22 September as she began a short refit that was completed on 24 October. The ship arrived at Kagoshima two days later and she resumed her former role as flagship of the division. Pearl Harbor and subsequent operations Indian Ocean Raid On 26 March 1942 the five carriers of the 1st Air Fleet departed from Staring Bay. They were spotted by a Catalina about 350 nautical miles, 650 km, 400 miles southeast of Ceylon on the morning of 4 April. Nagumo closed to within 120 nautical miles, 220 km, 140 miles of Colombo before launching an airstrike the next morning. Soryu contributed 18 B 5 NS and 9 Zeros to the force. The pilots of the latter aircraft claimed to have shot down a single ferry fulmer of 806 Naval Air Squadron, plus seven other fighters while losing one of their own. The D-3 as an B-5NS inflicted some damage to the port facilities, but a day's warning had allowed most of the shipping in the harbor to be evacuated. Later that morning the British heavy cruisers Cornwall and Dorsetcher were spotted and Soryu launched 18 D-3 as. They were the first to attack and claimed to have made 14 hits on the two ships, sinking both in combination with the dive bombers from the other carriers. On 9 April, Soryo contributed 18 B-5 NS, escorted by 9 Zeros, to the attack on Trincomalee. Her B-5 NS were the first to bomb the port, and her fighters did not encounter any British fighters. Meanwhile, a float plane from the battleship Harana spotted the small aircraft carrier Hermes, escorted by the Australian destroyer Vampire, and every available D-3 was launched to attack the ships. Soryu contributed 18 dive bombers, but they arrived too late and instead found three other ships further north. They sank the oil tanker British Sergeant and the Norwegian cargo ship Norviken before they were attacked by eight Fulmers of 803 and 806 naval air squadrons. The Royal Navy pilots claimed three D-3 as shot down for the loss of a pair of Fulmers. The Japanese actually lost four D-3, as with another five damaged. While this was going on, Akagi narrowly escaped damage when nine British Bristol Blenheim bombers 
from Ceylon penetrated the CAP and dropped their bombs from 11,000 feet 3,400 m. Soryu had six zeros aloft, along with 14 more from the other carriers, and they collectively accounted for five of the British bombers for the loss of one of Huryu's zeros. After launching the D-3 as that sank Hermes and the other ships, the first air fleet reversed course and headed southeast for the Malacca Strait before recovering their aircraft. On 19 April, while transiting the Bashi Straits between Taiwan and Luzon en route to Japan, Akogi, Soryu, and Huryu were sent in pursuit of the American carriers Hornet and Enterprise, which had launched the Doolittle raid against Tokyo. They found only empty ocean, for the American carriers had immediately departed the area to return to Hawaii. The carriers quickly abandoned the chase and dropped anchor at Hasharejima Anchorage on 22 April. Having been engaged in constant operations for four and a half months, Soryu, along with the other three carriers of the 1st and 2nd Carrier Divisions, was hurriedly refitted and replenished in preparation for the combined fleet's next major operation, scheduled to begin one month hence. While at Hasharajima, Soryu's air group was based ashore at nearby Kasunohara. Midway, A, 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 a a a a a a a a a a a a a a a a a a a a a a a Concerned by the U.S. carrier strikes in the Marshall Islands, Lee Salama, and the Doolittle raids, Yamamoto was determined to force the U.S. Navy into a showdown to eliminate the American carrier threat. He decided to invade and occupy Midway Island, an action that he was sure would draw out the American carriers. The Japanese codenamed the Midway Invasion Operation Amai. On 25 May 1942, Soryu set out with the combined fleet's carrier striking force in the company of Kaga Akagi and Huryu, which constituted the first and second carrier divisions for the attack on Midway Island. Her aircraft complement consisted of 18 Zeros, 16 D3 as 18 B5 Ennis, and two prototypes of the new Yokosuka D4 Y dive bomber. Also aboard were three A6 M Zeros of the 6th Kakutai intended as a portion of the aerial garrison for Midway. With the fleet positioned 250 nautical miles 460 km, 290 mi northwest of Midway at dawn 4, 45 local time on 4 June 1942, Soryu's part in the 108-plane combined air raid was a strike on the airfield on Eastern Island, with 18 torpedo bombers escorted by nine zeros. The air group suffered heavily during the attack. A single B-5N was shot down by fighters. Two more were forced to ditch on the return both crews rescued, and five including one, that landed aboard Huryu were damaged beyond repair. The Japanese did not know that the U.S. Navy had discovered their MI plan by breaking their cipher and had prepared an ambush using its three available carriers positioned northeast of Midway. The carrier also contributed three zeros to the total of 11 assigned to the initial combat air patrol CAP over the four carriers. By 7 zero, the carrier had six fighters with the CAP that helped to defend the Kido Butai from the first U.S. attackers from Midway Island at 7.10. At this time, Nagamo's carriers were attacked by six U.S. Navy Grumman TVF Avengers from Torpedo Squadron 8 v Minus 8 that had been temporarily detached from the Hornet to Midway, and four United States Army Air Corps Yuzuk Martin B-26 Marauders, all carrying torpedoes. The Avengers went after Huryu while the Marauders attacked Akagi. The 30 CAP Zeros in the air at this time, including the six from Soryu, immediately attacked the American airplanes, shooting down five of the Avengers and two of the B-26. The surviving aircraft dropped their torpedoes, but all missed. Soryu launched three more Zeros to reinforce the CAP at 7.10. At 7.15, Admiral Nagumo ordered the B-5NS on Kaga, and Akagi rearmed with bombs for another attack on Midway itself. 
This process was limited by the number of ordnance carts used to handle the bombs and torpedoes and ordnance elevators, preventing torpedoes from being stowed below deck until after all the bombs were moved up from their magazine, assembled, and mounted on the aircraft. The process normally took about an hour and a half. Around 7.40 Nagamo reversed his order when he received a message from one of his scout aircraft that American warships had been spotted. Depleted of ammunition, the first six of Soryu's CAP Zeros landed aboard the carrier at 7.30. At 7.55, the next American strike from Midway arrived in the form of 16 Douglas SBD Dauntless Bombers of Marine Scout, Bomber Squadron 241, VMS Beaminus 241 under Major Lofton R. Henderson. Soryu's three CAP fighters were among the nine still aloft, that attacked Henderson's planes, shooting down six of them, as they executed a fruitless glide-bombing attack on Huryu. At roughly the same time, a dozen Yuzuk Boeing Beaminus 17 flying fortresses attacked the Japanese carriers, bombing from 20,000 feet 6,100 m. The high altitude of the Beaminus 17s gave the Japanese captains enough time. Four Beaminus 17s attacked Soryu, but they all missed. The CAP defeated the next American air strike from Midway, shooting down three of the 11 Vought SB2U Vindicator dive bombers from VMS Beaminus 241, which attacked the battleship Haruna unsuccessfully, starting at around 8.30. Although all the American air strikes had thus far caused negligible damage, they kept the Japanese carrier forces off balance as Nagumo endeavored to prepare a response to news received at 8. 20 of the sighting of American carrier forces to his northeast. Around 8.30 Soryu launched one of her D-4Ys on a mission to confirm the location of the American carriers. Soryu began recovering her midway strike force at around 8.40 and finished shortly by 9.10. The landed aircraft were quickly struck below, while the carrier's crews began preparations to spot aircraft for the strike against the American carrier forces. The preparations were interrupted at 9.18 when the first American carrier aircraft to attack were sighted. These consisted of 15 Douglas TBD Devastator torpedo bombers of VT-8, led by Lieutenant Commander John C. Waldron from Hornet. The three airborne CAP-0s were landing aboard at 9.30 when the Americans unsuccessfully attempted a torpedo attack on Soryu, but three of the morning's escort fighters were still airborne and joined the 18 CAP fighters in destroying Waldron's planes. All of the American planes were shot down, leaving George H. Gay Jr., a junior, 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 the only surviving aviator treading water. Shortly afterwards, 14 devastators from Torpedo Squadron 6 v Minus, 6 from the Enterprise, led by Lieutenant Commander Eugene E. Lindsay, attacked. Lindsay's aircraft tried to sandwich Kaga, but the CAP, reinforced by three more zeros launched by Soryu at 9.45, shot down all but four of the devastators, and Kaga dodged the torpedoes. Soryu launched another trio of CAP zeros at 10, zero and another three at 10, 15 after torpedo squadron 3 v T minus, three from Yorktown was spotted. A wildcat escorting v T minus, Three shot down one of her zeros. While VT-3 was still attacking her Ryu, American dive bombers arrived over the Japanese carriers almost undetected and began their dives. It was at this time, around 10, 20, that in the words of Jonathan Parshall and Antony Tully, the Japanese air defenses would finally and catastrophically fail. At 10, 25, Soryu was attacked by 13 Dauntlesses from Yorktown's bombing squadron 3V B-3. The carrier received three direct hits from 1,000 LB-454 kg bombs, one penetrated to the lower hangar deck amidships, and the other two exploded in the upper hangar deck fore and aft. The hangars contained armed and fueled aircraft preparing for the upcoming strike, resulting in secondary explosions and rupturing the steam pipes in the boiler rooms. Within a very short time, fires on the ship were out of control. At 10, 
40 she stopped, and her crew was ordered to abandon ship five minutes later. The destroyers Isakazi and Hamakazi rescued the survivors. Soria was still afloat and showed no signs of beginning to sink by early evening, so Isakazi was ordered to scuttle her with torpedoes so as to allow the destroyers to be used for possible operations that night. The destroyer reported at 19.15 that Soryu had sunk at position 38 and 179.13. Losses were 711 crew of her complement of 1103, including Captain Yanagimoto, who chose to remain on board. This was the highest mortality percentage of all the Japanese carriers lost at Midway, due largely to the devastation in both hangar decks. The loss of Soryu and the three other IJN carriers at Midway, comprising two-thirds of Japan's total number of fleet carriers and the experienced core of the first air fleet, was a crucial strategic defeat and contributed significantly to the ultimate Allied victory. In an effort to conceal the defeat, the ship was not immediately removed from the Navy's registry of ships, awaiting a suitable opportunity before finally being struck from the registry on 10 August 1942. Footnotes